massive video just broke about FBI justice serve top 4 FBI fails before we can start the video I would like to encourage all of you to watch this video until the end and share your personal opinions about the top 4 FBI fails by sharing your personal opinions in the comment section down below you will help us create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube and I thank you very much for that number one it's Philadelphia office was burgled on March 8 1971 eight members of the Citizen Commission to investigate the FBI a civil rights and anti-war group that was against the Vietnam War broke into FBI's office in Philadelphia and made off with as many as 1,000 classified documents. The documents revealed the FBI counterintelligence program, Count Intel Pro, a clandestine operation meant to fractionalize and generate mistrust among civil rights groups and to destroy the credibility of activists like Martin Luther King. As hilarious as it sounds, the activists didn't break in with anything elaborate just a crowbar and a man who knew how to pick locks. The operation was well planned though. In FBI fashion, the activists surveilled the agency's building and monitored the movement of its agents. One of the members, Bonnie Rains, the wife of John Rains, who was behind the whole thing, <coughs> even posed as a college student and interviewed some agents for a non-existing school project about job opportunities for women in uh, the FBI. Number two, agents forgot a classified document in a suspect's home. On September 24, 2010, the FBI raided the homes of seven activists in Minneapolis and Chicago. In the phone of couple Mike Kelly and Lyndon Gowboy, they took documents, books, computers, cell phones and a passport but left behind their operation order. The order included information about the planning of the operation along with surveillance photographs of the suspects and interrogation questions. It did also contain information regarding suspicious that, ha that two of the activists, Meredith Abbey and Jessica Ray Sandit, had tied to the Revolutionary Army Force of Colombia, FARC. The suspicions arose because the activists had attended the peace summit in FARC's control areas in Colombia. The couple did not immediately find the classified documents, since it was among their own papers scattered across the floor of their home. They just dumped all the papers inside the filling cabinet and only found the document while going through the cabinet seven months later. Number 3. An FBI agent crashed a stolen Ferrari during a joyride. In 2008, the FBI recovered a 1995 Ferrari F50 during a drug bust in Kentucky. The vehicle had been reported stolen in 2003 and belonged to a motors insurance, which had already paid out the claim by its original owner. The FBI informed motor insurance about the find but refused to release the vehicle. A year later, an agent crashed it while taking an assistant at US attorney on a joyride. The vehicle's frame broke during the crash and it suffered some dents and scratches here and there. Motor insurance sued the US government for $750,000, which was the cost of the vehicle. But the Department of Justice turned down the litigation on the grounds that the FBI was not liable to pay for damages because the vehicle was under detention at the time of the crash. Number 4. FBI director called Poland a Nazi accomplish. FBI director James Comey came under fire in 2015 after he claimed that some Poles aided the Nazi during World War II. In an option article written to the Washington Post, Comey stated that he always sent new FBI intelligence analysts and specialist agents to the Holocaust Museum because he wanted them to see how humans abuse their powers. He claimed that the Nazis were aided by uh, good people who turned against their neighbors. The good people uh, here were the Hungarians and the Poles. In his words, in their mind, 
the martyrs and the accomplices for Germany and Poland and Hungary and so many many other places didn't do something evil. They convinced themselves it was the right thing to do, the thing they had to do. Well, dear friends, thank you very much for watching our amazing video. As always, in this second part of the video, I will encourage you to share your personal opinions in the comment section down below about the top 4 FBI files. By sharing your personal opinions in the comment section down below, you'll help us ensuring create an amazing and vibrant community. Please share your opinions about its Philadelphia office was burgled, about agents forgot a classified document in a suspect's home, about how an FBI agent crashed a stolen Ferrari during a joyride, and about uh, the FBI director who called Poland a Nazi accomplice. By sharing this information, you'll help us ensure and create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube, and I thank you very much for that. The FBI. Not always the FBI is right. Not always the FBI will bring you the correct information on the public eye. But always the FBI will look for the benefit of the people. For the benefit of the United States as a whole. So, don't think that we know everything. Don't think that if uh, somehow in our mind that the FBI did terrible things or accused people of terrible things, they did it in their own interest. Fortunately for us, the FBI is a strong and mature organization that is looking first and foremost of the well-being of the nation. By looking for the well-being of the nation, you will need to understand that it will take a lot of courage, a lot of sacrifice and yes, of course, some mistakes. There is no success guaranteed in life without any trace of unsuccess. There is no way of creating good actions without a uh, negative way in everything. So, what we need to understand, dear friends, it's by creating this environment where the FBI can protect the nation, they will lose all the tricks in the book to make their job possible. Thank you very much.